trying to do some tests here with my system which I ordered um, a Midnight Classic 250 to utilize a high voltage VOC open circuit which I'm going to be running um, 64.9 volt VOC and I'm going to be having a test coming up soon with uh, new modules which I had and the 64.9 volt. So here, what I'm gonna do, you guys seen, I have the Magnum and I have the uh, PT100 and uh, still um, set up here that's supposed to be running with the um, this module right here for the Magnum. So guys, uh, if you look at here, I don't have enough space anymore, but I want to test this Midnight Classic with the higher voltage panels. Doesn't mean the Outback cannot do it. The Outback can do it, but the only thing, I want to put three panels in series that gives me 194.7 volt VOC, uh, 250 volt open circuit Midnight Classic. So, which is designed for solar, green, and hydro. I've never tried it before. So, I have it. I'm going to see. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do right now. I think I have to take the Outback there. So, I can just try this and see how it works. I know the Outback fans. I hope you guys are not going to be offended. But in the Magnusine Magnum, guys, I know you guys are not going to be offended. Because I'm not going that side. The Magnum is set up there for 24 volt. 24 volt. And this is a 48 volt configuration. I wish I had a charge controller. Uh, sorry. Um, an inverter which is a 60 volt. Which is a commercial grade. I don't just want to buy any uh, flimsy uh, charge um, inverter. That um, you know Chinese made. That's probably going to uh, get my system. Uh, I, I don't want that. I just want to get something better if I can have a 72 uh, 70 volt or 72 volt or 60 volt and this midnight classic can go up to um, 93 volt so it's 12 24 36 48 60 uh, 72 up to 93 92 nominal to 93 max so guys this is what i'm saying like i'm still doing the construction you can see uh, my mate down there i still have to clean up those wires i'm so busy with work and i'm so busy with all the stuff and um a lot of projects going on like i told you guys i uh, just i'm gonna be re um testing uh so that i can just utilize the space the space here for the uh, classic so that I can see if the classic can fit here. Okay, it will go right there where the outback is sitting. So we can take down the outback and replace it for this guy for just a test. So this guy is going in there. So I'm going to be hooking up all this stuff here. And here is the Ethernet cable that goes for the, um, sorry, the uh, the Midnight's local app. You can run it and the battery temperature sensor here, uh, right here. And I've covered this on my videos. You can see the Aux 2 I'm gonna be utilizing for the Wisbank Junior. And this one I'm not gonna be using the Aux one because of the, uh, I'm not having a diversion load and I'm going to be using this guy right here, which is the USB to update the firmware. And um, this blue wire is going to the MNGP, which is the display panel. Okay, midnight uh, graphic display. This is MNGP. So this is where you can use the master or slave. On this thing so like I said this why is gonna be going directly to the MNGP panel so I'm gonna be utilizing this spot right here and this guy here for the local app and this guy here for the uh, midnight with bank junior and we can fire up this thing at the ground for grounding the system and we're gonna be testing 
how it works and um, from there we're gonna go back and uh, replace the odd back and see where we can fit this one in the near future um, maybe it's gonna go over there who knows but I don't want to obstruct anything with the, the magnum I decided to do this upgrade last time I was, I was, I was telling you guys because I want to keep all equipment to be um, the same okay they're all I want them to be on the same name brand like you see the magna sign right there and the PT 100 it has this controller that's just like when you have a Swiss bank junior this is like a Swiss bank junior which is the magna sign this is the um, the state of charge box which is the BMK is called battery monitor kit here now is the outback this is um, the mate which is remote just like this one here okay and but the um, it has the FNDC that monitors the uh, state of charge is back there see those lights back there and that's the thing and it has the hub to let these guys communicate communicate all this I can put uh, many uh, um, I can do two of these I can do three of these it depends to the hub this is just a five channel so um, four here with the output so I can able to put incorporate some of those in there so I just want to give you updates what's going on here like I told you guys it's gonna be a lot of things coming up right from the channel but we're gonna be installing this um, out back uh, sorry midnight and test it out and see how it works with the new panels because that's the one old purpose if I'm trying to go with a high voltage thing and uh, I think I have to expand my board to get more and I can able to put more higher voltage panels on this uh, on this uh, on this classic uh, more high voltage then I can put the mid-range uh, voltages on the outback okay the midnight um, the magna sign has its own uh, deal I'm working on this board and I'm gonna be making this thing really a sweet board and uh, for me and for people who are interested and who likes my channel who likes what I'm doing well it's a lot of machines here a lot of machines on the board okay a lot of toys but as time goes uh, you know just the feeling I go with the, the flow with the technology so uh, Keep trying things and get rid of all the stuff and upgrade all the stuff. All right. Thank you guys for all the, for all your effort, for all your support, for all your subscription. Keep on subscribing and like the video and share it. Live from Minnesota, JW Solo USA. Bye for now. Look at these guys. After working so hard yesterday trying to put the system together, get a new um, Midnight Classic 250 up and set, do all the settings and try to get the first initial test. Look at that. Look at that. It's almost about to rain. Heavy clouds. It's unbelievable. Look at this. Nothing. Nothing. So it's after it's almost eight o'clock. You know how they normally say um anytime you install probably solar panels or wind turbine and all of a sudden there's no wind for you to test. That's exactly what happened. This is zero. You know, with all the high panels, high voltage panels now in series, it's dead. See, I'm panning for you to see how the clouds are. You can hear the thunder is roaring. Keep the background there. And there's a plane flying all over there. It's heading to the airport. You see that? Hurry up. <laughs> so. 
weather is getting bad um, according to the radar it's showing that um, it's gonna be raining all all day mostly I check this out this is just unbelievable and now we didn't install a wind turbine and we have wind maybe it would have been a good test with the wind instead of uh, the solar well anyway that's how it is and we're just gonna deal with that and stay tuned when we have the sun so all clear clouds then we can do this right okay thanks for your patience subscribe like and share this video live from Minnesota JW Solar USA love you guys all take care did you hear that thunder in the background <laughs>Alright guys, um, the rain is finally here, so I'm just like the weather guy, I gave you the reader and all the specs, and look at that, it's rain, well, one way or the other, if no sun, we can have rain, and the wind just died out, you guys can see, nice raining, got the water, coming down from my roof well it's about time cleaning the panels as we were we are getting the panels cleaned up by the rain and um, it's a good thing it's a bad thing all works no play they jack a doll boy but anyway this is how it is we're getting the rain no sun the wind died out if I would have rely on a wind turbine, being excited, oh, the rain is um, maybe the wind is here, and all of a sudden the wind is gone. Now it's just rain. Check this out. Lightning. It's coming down pretty well. So the lightning. Well, this is what it is. It's raining, raining, raining. There, JW Solo USA. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. I don't want to keep this video too long. Just see what's going on. The FTA is taking a shower. Free to air satellites. Everything is cool. Thanks for watching. Bye.